Bishop Lynch High School in Dallas is not much different than many other Catholic schools with deep traditions. Academics and athletics are a priority in this Christ-centered curriculum. It's been that way for more than 50 years. Many of its sports programs have been powerhouses. Trophies behind glass cases and dozens of championship banners in its old gym are proof. Football, girls basketball, wrestling, and another of those storied programs, the girls volleyball team. In the summer of 2014, even before it prepared to defend its back-to-back -back state titles, the team learned that its tough road to a historic three-peat would come with challenges off the court. Coach Trisha Roos found out that she was pregnant with a child with trisomy 18. It's a mostly fatal condition. When all of her doctors encouraged her to have an abortion, the popular coach said no. She said that she and her baby were in God's hands. She relied on prayers, especially Psalm 139. She said that in God's wisdom, she was being called to fight for her daughter, Annabelle, and to witness to her young son Cameron and her other daughters, those on the volleyball team, to show them that faith can produce miracles. Trisha and her baby, Annabelle, the life that the Lord has chosen to put within her, are a real example of Christian living to this community. A living witness, first to the decision that she made, she and her husband Jonas, to give life, to continue giving life to this child, that this child is in the Lord's hands, not ours, uh, is, is heroic. Coach Roos doesn't consider herself a hero, but those who know her say they weren't surprised by her stance, that she was guided by her values, a strong Christian faith, the importance of family, and the solidarity of friends, all very important to her, going back as early as the day she was born. Trisha Heflick was the first child born to Henry and Deborah Heflick, a happy baby with green eyes and a big smile. She kept her parents busy. Three years later, her mother gave birth to another girl, April. There are pictures of the two of them, playing, dressing up, happy. Before long, however, Trisha's parents separated and divorced. Eventually, the girls went to live with their mother in Pottsboro, near the Texas-Oklahoma border. And as the girls grew, doing well in school and sports became just as important as faith, family, and friends. At Pottsboro High School, Trisha was an all-around athlete, playing basketball and tennis, running track and playing volleyball. She received academic honors and as a senior, Trisha was named the school's top female athlete. After graduation, she enrolled at Baylor University. A few years later, her sister followed her to Waco. Baylor is where Trisha met Jonas Roos. They fell in love, and after graduation, she and Jonas got married and moved to Dallas in 2005. She got a job doing communications at Bishop Lynch High School, but soon, the young woman with a competitive spirit wanted to do more. She became the admissions director, but she also dreamed of coaching the girls' volleyball team. Two demanding jobs, but she fought for them and eventually got her chance. Trisha makes it more than a job. She brings just a whole lot of enthusiasm and a whole lot of commitment. In missions, I work one-on-one -on -one with a lot of families, but in volleyball, I personally get to know kids. I get to know about their families, their feelings, their, you know, boyfriends, you know, family problems, whatever it is. And so with coaching, I feel like it's not just what happens on the court, it's developing them off the court as well. And so I feel like the two roles I have, I'm very blessed to have them and have people that believe in me to be in charge of both of those areas. If facing adversity together is part of the bonding process, then this volleyball team quickly took it to heart. 
even though some of our struggles aren't as obviously nearly as big as hers that she's going through right now with Annabelle, it's the best example that we could ask for when we go through t uh, tough situations or if we're worried about something and we just know that we can always turn to God because that's exactly what Coach Ruth teaches us to do. It's really nice when things in your life are not going perfect to be able to have that escape and that distraction from the bad and have um, a group of girls that are so supportive and so loving and so caring to back you and to really be behind you and to support you and to just play hard. Why would I back down from a challenge when every day I ask these girls to step up to challenges? I've been saying that for years and that's always been kind of the way that I coach. And, and now that God is actually putting the challenge in front of me in a different way, I felt like this was my opportunity to step up and say yes to the challenge instead of backing down and saying no. We have 14 year olds through 18 year olds that all of a sudden are introduced to part of life that they aren't used to knowing about. And uh, now at this point, I'm glad they did. Um, it really taught them the value of life and that every child is God's creation. And I, I as scary as it was at first, of how it would impact the team, I can't imagine this season without it. The off-the-court lessons that would define this 2014 season were about to be served up. Blockers, you guys have to time it, go up. You're in perimeter, so that's relatively easy on the back row, but you got to get set. Offensively, don't set frame too tight. You gotta get One of the first open. opponents in district play, John Paul II and High School. You know, she's been strong for them throughout this entire process since their freshman year, a lot of them. And, you know, it was their turn to not necessarily pay back what she's given them, but to be able to show that, you know what, Coach, you've been here for us. It's our, our time to be here for you. Bishop Lynch went undefeated in district play and easily advanced in the playoffs. Just a few days before the championship game, an emotional athletic director, Andy Zillman, addressed the team coaches, and managers. We in the school and the athletic department are very proud of what you've accomplished so far this year. Uh, I mean, you're really a testament to not only yourselves and Coach Roos and her program, but you know, to Bishop Lynch High School and how you carry yourselves on the court and off the court. I'm so proud of y'all for supporting this lady. What she's had to go through with her family. What a testament she is to all of you and to our school. I admire her so much, and I admire all of you, what you do for her. Thank you very much for that. To my fabulous, wonderful Bishop Lynch varsity team, I cannot believe that this is the last week of the season. In many ways, I feel like this season has been so short, but it also feels like we've been together as a team forever. Words cannot express to you how much this team has meant to me this season. I believe that every team I have ever coached is unique in their own way and I truly love all of them. However, this season has been different and more special than I could have ever imagined. When I received the news about Annabelle, I was devastated. I honestly didn't know how I could possibly make it through the volleyball season with a positive attitude knowing that something was wrong with my child. However, through faith and the love and support of all of you, this was not the case. I have learned how important it is to enjoy each and every day and to cherish every moment you have with the people around you. As you step on the court for the last time this weekend, I hope that you will cherish every moment and remember what a blessing it is to have this experience and to have each other. Ursuline Academy won the first game in the championship match, but Bishop Lynch battled back to win the next two. In the fourth game, 
The Lady Friars were serving for championship point and a place in high school volleyball history. This was a tough win. I mean, Ursuline playing a team three times in a season is really difficult because you know them so well, they know us so well, and emotions get involved when you play a team across town that you play all the time. So um, I'm proud of my girls for how hard they fought and how bad they just wanted it. And, you know, they told me before the game they were playing for Annabelle. They said it during the game, um, and that meant a lot to me. And they just fought for it. They were refusing to lose, so that meant a lot. I think for the girls to see the struggles that Trisha was going through and for her to take those struggles and and put them aside for the team effort and to be part of the, the team and to show them in life that you're going to be able to get through these struggles and, and through faith and through staying together and believing each other and today was you know the final part of that. She's taught a lot of good lessons to these kids um, with her situation uh, that she's going through and I, I feel like it was a win-win you know all the way around for all of us and she provided a little bit of extra motivation for the kids and, and we helped provide a little bit of motivation for her. As Bishop Lynch closed for Christmas break, the Roos family prepared for its own Christmas arrival and a mix of emotions. As family and doctors provided round-the-clock care for the little girl, Annabelle's army and many others gathered at the school's chapel to pray for her life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the I believe, like, here at Bishop Lynch, we're like a family, and so if one of our family members is sick or hurt in any way, we should come together and help them or pray for them like we did today. That last episode that she had, um, I was holding her, Jonas and my sister were both there, and we just knew, you know, that it wasn't, she wasn't coming back, that it wasn't working. Uh, about 12.15 a.m. on Monday morning, uh, she passed away, and it was obviously devastating um, to lose her, and <laughs> I wish we could have had more time, but at the same time, the fact that she made it full term, <laughs> was born alive, and surprised all these doctors and nurses, we knew that that was her purpose. From the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring, Every creature unique in the song that it sings All exclaiming Indescribable, uncontainable You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name You are amazing God All powerful, untamable we fall to our knees as we I will never forget my first glimpse of Annabelle's face. After 38 weeks, she arrived perfectly pink and beautiful in every single way. Those pink cheeks were medically impossible with her two-chamber heart. Annabelle's favorite place to be was on her mommy's chest. We were very blessed 
to never see any signs of suffering in Annabelle. But when she was on Trisha's chest, she was in heaven. Jonas or I could hold her for a while, and she gave us lots of love, but at the slightest sign of discomfort, we'd, we'd send her right back to Trisha, and she'd recover quickly. Every life matters, and every life counts. And we could, if we could only understand the depth of God's love for us, it would change us forever. It takes a brave and courageous couple to share their life with thousands of people. It opens the door to criticism, to judgment, and to vulnerability. But without taking that risk, thousands upon thousands of people would not know our sweet Annabelle. In the fall, the Ruses decided to share their story with the news on TV and in print. Many of you rallied for their choice to fight for Annabelle and surrounded them in love, with love and encouragement. And for that, I thank you. But the judgments and the criticism did not go unnoticed. The comments on printed stories had dozens of hateful remarks, calling Trisha a self-righteous hypocrite and calling her choice an act of cruelty rather than courage. I only say these things to point out the incredible amount of awareness that Annabelle's life gave to me and hopefully many others. Annabelle's legacy will greatly contribute to the fight for, this, for life in this country. Annabelle's army, which was created as a prayer warrior group, will now get the chance to be a voice for her. We need to tell the world that every life matters and every life counts. Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works they end up. She chose a song for me to sing, and I really, uh, really thought that. And I, when I was practicing and um, rehearsing the song, just uh, I was, I kept in mind that this was all for God and all for the life of Annabelle. The strength that Coach Rue showed during the memorial service was stronger than any woman I think I could have ever thought of. Because even though it was really hard to go through, she showed that anyone can go through it with a crowd that she had. Because we had Annabelle's army, and we had all the volleyball people and the extension of their family too coming. Trisha's decision to share her story with our community has really called kids uh, to a new level of awareness, not only about themselves, but about others and how we as a community are called into suffering and joy together. Um, so we rejoiced with the birth of Annabelle and those, those days of life that she had to share with her family. And we, we mourn with the family. I think there's a few things that you just hope and pray that you can hold on to. You know, smelling a newborn baby and having her so close to me in her blankets um, is something that I really hope I never forget. And just seeing, like looking into her eyes and like feeling her skin. I mean, there's so many things that, um, besides looking at pictures and remembering her physically, what she looked like that you hope you can remember. And I think the more that you talk about it and think about it, you can kind of hold on to those memories a little bit tighter. I am very, very hopeful that a lot of people were affected by Annabelle. And I want people to see her life as having value and being just as important as anybody else's life, you know, whether you live a hundred years or one day, um, because I learned a lot from that experience and I think it's made me a better and stronger person and I really think that there's a lot of lessons to be learned in valuing a human life. On April 18, 2015, to a standing ovation, Trisha, Jonas, and Cameron Ruse were honored as the Pro-Life Persons of the Year at the annual Bishop's Pro-Life Dinner. We were blessed to witness a true miracle and a love story that only God could orchestrate through the life of Annabelle. I can only hope and pray that other women that are pregnant around the world can even get a fraction of the support around them that we got. All of us have a calling and opportunities every day to say yes. Sometimes that simple three-letter word can be very difficult. So tonight I challenge you to think about how you can say yes to the call to restore respect for every human life. I want to thank the Catholic Pro-Life Committee, the Texas Catholic, our family and friends and all of you tonight 
for taking the stand for life and helping further the message that every life matters. I believe it's no coincidence that we are celebrating the life of a baby girl with trisomy 18 on April 18th, and our stand for her life started on the 18th of July. That's just God's way of showing his love for all of us and for Annabelle. Thank you. Annabelle, in every sense of the word, you were extremely precious to us. And the way that you looked at Cameron and the way that you responded to um, me and your daddy was just priceless. And we will remember it forever and ever and ever. And we really, really just appreciate every moment that we had with you and thank you for all the time that you gave us because we know that you were just a gift to us and that we didn't even deserve as much time as we got and so we're extremely grateful for that and um, we really hope and pray that you will take care of Cameron and watch over him and we do pray for another healthy baby someday that you will watch over as well and you will always be a part of our family and we love you. Yeah.